Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations. Welcome to episode 87 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning, covering tech, coding, and some cool projects that we work on. Patrick, do you mind introducing yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Patrick Gargano. I'm a content developer. Um, I work with the technical education team at Learning and Certifications. Our team takes care of CCNA and Encore and an RC, so all of those enterprise courses, um, the wireless ones as well. Our team is, is not big, but we even have more stuff under our under umbrella. We, we take care of the service provider courses and the really popular DevNet courses as well. So those are our babies. And within those babies, my personal babies, the ones I, I take care of the most, um, are the SD-WAN courses. And I think that's that's what we're here for, for today. And and you're also a published author, right, with Cisco Press, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yes, in my in my spare time. Um, I've written a couple <laughs> I don't of, know of how Cisco you have Press spare books. Time, but... I'm a long-time instructor. Um, I started teaching um, Cisco courses through the NetAcad program back in 2000. I'm that old. Oh, wow. Um, and then started working with learning partners after that um, to, to, to provide um, training to our, 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 our customers as a CCSI. And now I've, uh, I've joined the fold um, and, and come into uh, Cisco itself to help drive our, our courses and our content. That's awesome, Patrick. So, so before we drill into the, all the work that you've done with uh, the Cisco SD-WAN learning path that we're working on for Cisco U, um, why don't you just give us kind of a an overview of what is Cisco SD-WAN, what is Cisco doing with um, in in that extending your network to the cloud, and how does that course kind of help you with all of that? Cisco SD WAN is is super popular, right? It's it's part of almost all the tracks at this point. So it's in it's in CCNA, it's in it's in the CCNP level courses as well, and all the way up to CCIE. Um, and and it's all about this new way of of building out our WAN infrastructure. So if if we have a look at our our WAN environments historically, we would have had a, maybe a data center and all our branches connecting back maybe to that data center, and all our security services would have been there. Um, our workloads, our databases, everything would have been kind of localized in, in that one central space. So we're all connecting back to their for, for even internet access as well. So all our security would have been would have been hosted in that data center. And we've been using you know historically MPLS links, which are really expensive, um, typically not the fastest either. And then if someone at a branch office wanted to get access to the internet, they would have to kind of hairpin their traffic again back through that data center to get to the internet. So this is like the old paradigm and the old model of, uh, of doing things. And, and SD-WAN or, or, or software-defined WAN is trying to change that and, and also kind of extend the options. So now maybe allowing those branch locations to connect directly to the internet, um, connect directly to those SaaS applications, right? We might be using Office 365. We might be using uh, Concur. We might be using SAP. So all those applications are maybe hosted in the cloud. We don't want to have to go through the data center to get to them. So, you know, direct internet access, but obviously that opens a, a huge can of worms. What about security? Um, so, so obviously that's a huge component to SD-WAN, making sure that those branch locations are secure. But then, you know, you start getting questions like, well, hang on a second, if I'm deploying all that security at the branch, I'm going to need a massive router, I'm going to need a lot of performance, a lot of power to be able to deploy my firewall and my IDS and my URL filtering and, you know, my AMP and all these different technologies. So the, the solution around that is maybe a, a combination of two things. So we have a little bit of, of on-site or on-prem security at that branch location, but we can also offload a lot of that security to the cloud um, using you know, Cisco umbrella and the secure internet gateway functionality. So this is, this is just changing the game massively, right? Um, from, from what we used to do to now what we're trying to do. And, and as you said, uh, you know, to start us off, Kareem, the, the whole point of this also is to get access to our workloads that could be in AWS, Microsoft Azure, GCP. Um, and again, I don't want to have to hairpin through that data center. I want to hit those directly from that branch location. So how am I connecting that branch? Well, I've got maybe a, an internet connection. I might still use an MPLS link as well, but I want to try to leverage something that's cheaper, that's faster. Obviously, if it's an internet connection, it's not safe, so I need to secure that, that connection. 
and, and obviously I need some SLA. I need to be able to guarantee a quality of experience for my, my staff. If I'm getting people to connect to, I don't know, you know, Office 365, they need to be able to perform their work in the cloud as if that application was local on their machine. So, so we need to make sure that we're, we're, we're getting that performance out of that, out of that internet link. Um, and so we need to track that performance. And so, so Cisco SD-WAN is able to, to do that and, and ensure that we have a good quality of experience. So sorry, that was a, a long-winded, but very, very short explanation of, of what Cisco SD-WAN can possibly offer um, today's networks. I think that really set the table nicely. And, you know, in that, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's long-winded because um, tying Cisco SD-WAN into a learning path, having it be part of so many different course materials. Um, I know that it's part of uh, some of the DevNet ones as well. Um, you know, there's there's a lot in there that needs to be addressed. So um, can you kind of expand a little bit on um, what people can expect when they're going into, um, into that learning path, some areas that they could potentially focus on, um, or where just maybe they need to get started? First question you need to ask yourself is, is am I learning this content because I, I'm working towards a certification? Or am I learning this content because I'm working towards just becoming that SD-WAN hero that, that works for my company? And, and the reason I'm, I'm asking you that question is because if it's really because you're, you're aligning towards getting that cert, so you know, you're working to your, your CCNP enterprise, um, you've taken EN Core and, and you need another exam, right? You need a specialization to finish off your CCNP enterprise. So ENSDWI, which is the certification aligned course to the exam, um, would get you there. So that, that's, that's one way of doing it. And that covers everything, right? From, from bringing up the, uh, the, the, the overlay to deploying WAN edge routers to security to cloud on ramp for SaaS, for multi cloud. Um, you know, it covers everything. But that's really focusing on, on that exam and that exam blueprint. If instead you're you're more interested in really some specific technologies, then then what I've got right now on the screen is maybe what you need. So what I've done here is I've kind of built for you um, what I'm calling a technology learning path specifically for Cisco SD WAN. And what's what it's going to include are three tracks. So the, the first track is a fundamentals track. So that's obviously fundamental. So it's giving you a sense of what SD WAN is, what the different bits and pieces are, you know, the V Bond and V Smarts and all these strange sounding things. And then how to get a, a, a basic SD WAN network up and running, pushing out some 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 policies um, and 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 controlling routing, um, but fairly you know at a basic level, you know, hub and spoke deployment kind of thing. Now that you've got the fundamentals. I think you're ready now to start maybe securing that network. And this is that second track where you're going to do a deep dive into on-prem security, cloud-based security. We're going to look at thousand eyes. So we're going to really give you a sense of, of everything that can come together to secure that, that SD-WAN overlay, including SASE. So obviously SASE is a big, a big thing as well. So we're looking at you know, how we can include that so that our branch locations have that secure connectivity to those cloud applications. And then speaking of cloud, well, then that's where you get a chance to in that third track to really kind of dive more deeply into, you know, how do we deploy things like, you know, cloud on ramp for SaaS, cloud on ramp for multi-cloud, co-location. Um, so all of these different flavors of, of, of cloud options, including the interconnect one, which is, you know, leveraging Megaport um, and those kinds of applications as well. So, and again, Cisco Thousand Eyes being such an important key key element for for monitoring the cloud, making sure our cloud is is performing properly and efficiently, um, so that's included in that in that track as well. So this learning path includes those those three tracks, if you like, um, and then as I said, each one will have you know a specific focus. So the fundamentals will have you know five courses, a bunch of hands-on labs, and some videos as well. So that's the fundamentals, and the other ones kind of look similar. So again bunch of courses for the security one, looking at you know, SASE, on-premises threat prevention, Umbrella, Umbrella SIG in particular, lots of hands-on labs here again, and quite a lot of videos that come with this one. 
And then same thing with the cloud solution. So having a look at different ways that we can optimize and connect to the cloud. Um, again, a bunch of labs here. Uh, and I have to say one of the cool things in particular about this cloud track and the security track is that we're leveraging the Cisco D cloud environment for those labs. So these labs are always on. So what's fantastic here is as a learner, I'm consuming the content. I'm like, you know what? I've got a quick half hour. I want to do a lab. You jump into that lab, it's available right away, and you're off to the races. So, so this is this is what's cool, um, in particular with those two. The fundamentals is also in our VM environment, and it takes maybe you know four or five minutes to spin up. So that one's very quick as well. For me, this is a kind of a, a highlight while I'm learning is to getting not only looking at watching the videos and looking at the text and reading what's you know what's the solution is about in general, but actually implementing it and trying to try and get um, in a sandbox environment. And it's, uh, it's awesome to actually see that um, part of our learning path. Now, I know, I know Snackers, you're super excited about what, uh, what <laughs> Patrick here has been talking about. So all of the content that we have that we've mentioned here and more, including certification prep exams, um, prep material for exams uh, is available for you on um, Cisco U today. So get on the early access list. We have the link here somewhere or a QR code somewhere. for you somewhere here. <laughs> First yeah. time uh, on, on our show. So um, we do ask this go of all of our uh first guests. And um, that question is, what is your superpower and why? Oh man, listen, my super, I've, I've been an educator and a, and a teacher for, like I said earlier, so, you know, I started teaching back in 97. So I think my superpower is, is getting, um, is, is getting complicated stuff across easily to folks so that they can understand it. Um, I'm really passionate about, about teaching, about learning, um, and, and, and helping kind of just guide and mentor people into growing and, and learning more about something. You want to be you want to be in the matrix where you can basically be that person that plug in the brain and download the knowledge. <laughs> I realized exactly, I asked the exactly. question wrong. And, you know, I, I, I love those I love those moments in class with students where they you know the aha moment right that that you know it gives you yeah. gives you the goosebumps. You you see them suddenly it clicks for them. You know either they're deploying a router or a switch or some sort of technology, um, and that always makes me really really happy. And, and that's that's what you know being an educator is all about. It's, so I'd say it's definitely say, being. Facilitating and helping folks get to that point is is what I would uh, would say my my superpower is. All right. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us today, um, and we look forward to having you on again. Uh, snackers, we hope you enjoyed this episode and check out the SD WAN um, learning path. And we'll see you next time on Snack Minute. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Snackers. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Bye bye.